Hi, good evening. Mm. Today I'm going to talk about the multi-part message in Mule. As you see, a Mule message, um, I'm, I'm reading the book Mule in Action, so I will just use what I learned here to talk to you about uh, how a multi-part message looks like. So as you know, the Mule message construct, there is a payload and then there are properties, there are attachment, and then there is also an exception payload. So multi-part messages are actually stored as uh, inbound attachments. So as you can see, for a HTTP post, right, all the you could attach all the uh, inbound attachment as um, as in one post. So I'm going to teach you how to use Postman to post a multi-part message. As usual, um, post in Postman, you need to put the URL for whereby you're going to post to the mail uh, endpoint and in your in your head right make sure that you do not have any key value pair because um if you have a message type as a application slash json right it will you ruin the you will ruin the message posting so if you don't if you don't put anything uh, at a time when you click send it will it will automatically assign a multi-part assign a content type of multi-part form data for you so now to construct a multi-part message what you need to do is um, usually we use raw to to test the normal flow but if you want to attach uh, attachments to a post you use form data and in the form data right you you can either choose text file or text or string here what we want to do is we want to attach a file so uh, to attach a file so there's payload one and then file for payload two and then file for payload three so you see payload one two three how does the file look like? It actually looks like this. That's for payload one, payload two, and payload three. Okay. So once you have this ready, you, what you need to do is you, you need to go into the AnyPoint Studio, create a create a new uh, new project. In the new meal project, just put in a, a HTTP uh, listener and put the path to slash test. So the first logging logger, what I have done is I've put in uh, I've tried to look at the size of the inbound attachment. So the message inbound attachment dot size is to show me in the log that how my how many attachment. Um, there is coming to this uh, flow and and because I need to look through each attachment I need a for each and in the for each your collection you just put a inbound attachment in the muse of um, documentation they, they actually briefly talk about um, counter variable name but it's pretty vague about what, what it is um, Actually, if you if you try to print this counter out, it's just, it's a matter of um the the number of loop. For example, if um if I try to print this uh, counter out, it'd be one two three. And the batch size, it's important to set the best batch size to one. If you set it to um, because if you if you see that previously in Postman, I've attached three attachment. So if you set the batch size to ten. It will it will accept the tree as one merge big attachment, but if you set it to one, it will loop three times. And then the root message is, I have not used this before. I'll I'll I'll, I'll experiment further with it, but the most important thing is to let you see what's happening. And then in the for each, the logger, what I do is um. I, because when when an element is stripped out from an attachment it essentially becomes a message so because it, it 
because when an attachment becomes an individual message, I can I can dot payload just like how I how I process a message from uh, from just a normal message. So if you dot message payload as Java dot lang dot string, you'll be able to print out um, each individual message. So to give you an overview of what the code looks like, this is it. You could um, you could pause the video and compare your code against mine. This is how the whole code looks like, right? So now what you do is, I've already started the application. You're supposed to start the application, and then just click send. You observe it automatically puts a content type to multipart slash form data. Once you click send. And you look at the what is printed out. You see, so message has a total of three attachment is printed out by this logger, and then the for each loop goes through goes through the inbound attachments, and because we put the batch size to one, it goes through one by one instead of lumping it up. And then when you look at the logger, it prints out the message payload, and that's why you get. Sample payload 1 from file 1, payload 2 from file 2, payload 3 from file 3. Now, to illustrate my point, when you put in as a 4, say, and then you save it, wait for it to auto deploy, okay, auto deploy complete. Now, when you send in a request, so now what happens is See, instead of printing it three times, it lumps it into as one, one message. See, it just print one time default message. And then payload two, payload three. See, it lumps all three messages into one big uh, message. So if you want to process them individually, you have to push the batch size to 1. That's what I mean by That's what I mean by setting the batch size. And if you want to print out the counter to have a look at what it is, what does it look like, right? So we can do that as well. Once you save it, let it auto deploy. It's done. Click send again. And when you look at the counter, it's actually like what I said. Each iteration will increment the counter. But the root message is quite a peculiar thing. I think I'll post into the new soft forum to ask in detail what it is used for. But we could try and print it out. Let's see what it is about. I think I'll create a part two video. You see, it's a no payload. I have no idea what this is about. The root message. Maybe I should talk to them about. Let's try that one more time. The root message is actually a default message type. So when I try to Google what this is, contains payload and property associated with the payload. So 
I guess.